Hi folks. Good. Nice to see you again. <laughs> see you again. <laughs> hey, this is kind of a, maybe just a personal uh, uh, pushback, I think is what some people call it. Um, am I open-minded? And all day long today while I've been working and working with customers and their choices and their homes and dealing with husbands and wives and all the different things, am I open-minded? One of the things that in as a 45 year, if not 50 year veteran of remodeling commercial, light commercial, banks, uh, automotive dealers, restaurants, uh, building houses and all this thing, I've actually paid the price to find out what products work and what products don't work. What is quality and what is not quality. And it's funny when you get old and gray, some people just don't even question you because you have the experience of what you're talking about. Now when it comes to uh, the religious aspect of it, uh, the other day I was watching it, at, uh, this is the second video I've seen of this, this gentleman is sharing, okay? And uh, I'm just sitting there taking notes and um, I was thinking, am I open? Am I open? Well, he said something and it's like I had to back the video up and write down what he said because it's like I have not had that thought before. I had not seen that verse in that light that he shared. So that night I went up and looked that verses up. I looked the context up. I started studying through it. And then I also finished watching his video. And uh, he's very knowledgeable, uh, slightly boring as in he gives too much detail. But uh, uh, sometimes it's like, come on, get to the point, you know. But it made me realize that even people who oppose me or who have and share and teach contrary to what I may believe, I want to study and learn more stuff. See? Now, if you came to me and you watched one of my videos, you completely disagreed with it and you started railing on me, and you can't even tell me what I believe, how I came to that belief, and studied through my side of it, how can I possibly be open to you? Okay? Now, if I was saying something that you never heard before, is it wise for you to just criticize me? Or would you say, that's not what I believe. I wonder how the guy came to that conclusion. I might need to search this out. See, when you deal with people, or I deal with people, who come out of the middle of nowhere and start throwing arrows at you, and then they say, I'm not open-minded. Well, you haven't shown me any arrows that are worth me studying out because I've already studied them out. I've already fully studied everything there is in that subject or about that word or about that topic. See, I have a lot more to learn, so that's why I know I'm open-minded. But people are easily criticize others. Oh, matter of fact, uh, I made a comment. I just made a comment about the war and I said, oh my goodness, all of a sudden they're anti-Marty. It's just my opinion about the war. You know, what effect do I have on this or that? But they were accusing me of, of my beliefs. And I'm going, I never accused them or thought bad of them because I disagree with their view of the war. I just shared my view. Or flat earthers, for example, they will, they're vicious, ruthless people. I cannot post anything about the round earth or the square earth philosophy because they will attack me. But I go to their sites and they got pictures of all this and I don't attack them or I don't even dare say something. See? Because I know they're closed-minded. 
And so I've studied out where they come from, how they come to their stuff, how the verses relate and stuff. And so anyway, being open-minded, I, I think back of different people and different times when uh, here, I give this example. I may have given this in another video. I had a friend of mine said, asked me if he, he wanted me to help him strip his roots. This was back when I was stripping roots and I didn't have any help and stuff. He said he used a spade and I said I used a potato fork. And I said, I bet you I can strip that roof faster than you can. And so we literally divided it up and we went right down that roof and I got to the bottom before he did. But you know what? I had to go back and start pulling all my nails. Well, he was stripping and pulling nails at the same time. At the end of the, the race, and I got done helping him shingle his roof, I bought that spade from him. And I have uh, probably a half a dozen of them still in the shop right now. We don't do wrestling work because of my back and stuff. And But I also know another person who told me about a hook knife. You're, you're thinking, well, what's this got to do with anything? It, it's a simple analogy. A $6 hook knife that has hooks where as you're cutting shingles it reaches and cuts from the bottom side. And I can get... I can cut through those shingles and sculpture them and make them look nicer faster because see we get paid by the square. How fast do we install squares of shingles? See, not packets, squares. Three packs equals a square usually. And this person was telling me, oh no, these other blades are cheaper. You just flip the shingle over and cut it. He only did one roof. He did his first roof and he criticized me after I had years of roofing experience for using a $6 blade. I'm working on, on a several thousand dollar project. What is six dollars if it speeds me up an hour? Or cuts, saves me from having to flip them over every time just to save the five dollars on a blade? You see, but that's the way people's perception are. They say, that he, I was accused of not being open. And I was accusing him that afterwards, you have no experience, buddy. I have at least a hundred roofs under my belt. So I know what a hook knife is capable of doing. So next time you want to say that somebody's not open because of their response to you, it's maybe how you approach them on a subject. Or if you approach me on a subject that, and tell me that I'm a heretic and that I'm wrong, that's an attack basically. So why would I not defend myself? See? And so... I find that the people who have paid the price are actually more open because they are looking outside the box. They are looking at every avenue that they can. Uh, what is that? Uh, uh, <laughs> it's that two words that I can't think of right off hand here. Uh, comparative uh, contrast. Comparative contrast. What's different between the right hand and the left hand? What is different? There's four fingers and two thumb or the thumb. What's the difference? See? Comparative contrast. How do you know which one's right or left? Maybe I got the camera set up so it does a mirror image and you don't know which side is which. It does that when we do on Zoom. You can take the camera and make it so you are a mirror image or uh, uh, it reverses the image as though it's looking at at you or something like that and so uh, anyway I just want to share that you know I, I really believe I'm open uh, I'm sincerely trying um, paying the price every night every night I'm studying every single night uh, that is what got me going because uh, I remember back when I was on fire for Jesus in my younger days before marriage and stuff is always spending time with him and I'm not a morning person and so Yahweh doesn't usually get up too early unless he's got his coffee <laughs> or his pop and stuff and so so anyway be patient with people we're all on different levels we're at different stages we have so much more to learn and so that's where to me the love aspect or for some people I they've earned grace from me they've earned my favor or favor, I favor them because they've earned it. They've showed me that they are willing to pay the price to search out the truth. Amen? Amen. Thank you so much.